What's up YouTube? How are you doing? Chana D or Techno Dad here. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out a 4K media player that I've been wanting to get in for a while. It is the Zipedi 4K Pro HDR, and we're going to check it out right after the jump. And I'm back. All right. Big shout out to Zapiti for sending this over for me to review. Now, I know a lot of you are, you know, dabbling with the idea of maybe getting like some sort of a network attached storage device and ripping your Blu-rays and 4K Blu-rays so that you don't have to kind of fumble around for the discs. You don't want to damage the discs. And if you have kids, you know, you know, you can just have them select the you know movie with a remote control as opposed to you know you know them jumping on uh the disc and you know fumbling it out of the case and all that kind of stuff i mean for me when i'm reviewing uh tv or audio equipment i always have movies that i go to like my demo movies or demo material so that i can evaluate the equipment that i have in and so it's not really for me a matter of getting up and you know removing the disc and putting a new disc in it's literally me trying to find the stupid disc because i like put it somewhere and i have no idea where it is like for instance i went through to like re-rip all my 4k blu-rays and the jumanji welcome to the jungle disc i don't know where that is like i have the case but i don't know where, where that disc is so uh yeah now I know what you guys are gonna say. Well, you could just get like an Nvidia Shield at a fraction of the price of this player. And I'll show you the player in a second. It is like a thousand dollars. However, you can do the same thing and get the same experience with the Zapiti Mini, which is like 250. And if you have something like this, this is the hard drive that I use that has uh, my 4K Blu-ray rips, uh, 1080p rips and FLAC files for music. So that's like a 10 terabyte disc. And, you know, it connects via USB 3. So if you have um, the Zapiti Mini and a disc like this already that you're kind of building up, you can start off with that and then grow into a player like this. Uh, this has a couple of drive bays so you can put hard drives directly into the machine and, you know, it can act as a server. So if you do go with the smaller player right now, you can kind of grow into this one and as your you know ripping gets more sophisticated and you're getting full on you know uncompressed one-to-one -one copies and m2ts files with 4k hdr and atmos or dtsx then you might need some extra storage so moving up to a player like the pro 4k hdr could be in your future you know start small and and you grow into it anyway let's check out the player one of the things i really do like the most is that it is sturdy it is rock solid like this totally reminds me of my oppo 203 or if you guys are familiar with the panasonic ub9000 like this thing's heavy it is solid um and i like that you know heavy is good heavy is reliable opening down the front panel we have access to the two drive bays which are pretty pretty easy to operate you just open it the disc pops out you pop it in and close the door now they sent me a three terabyte disc that has some demo material on it so i can check out um, different movies and different file types and so that's pretty cool so um i'm glad they did that however i do have a couple of 16 terabyte drives on the way uh, this will support 32 terabytes total internal so we've got rca output we've got the main hdmi output that's audio and video we have next to that the audio output only hdmi and an hdmi input there's an ir extender um, network port then we've got usb 3.0 in an a a usb type c jack a usb 2.0 in a usb a jack as well as the uh, zero signal and we've got antennas for your um Wi-Fi. Now they recommend it being hardwired. So that's how I'm going to have it set up. And especially if you're going to use this as a server and use like as a PD mini, you want to have everything on a gigabit ethernet so that you can, you know, transfer 4k HDR or stream it from one dive device to another. There are two more USB ports on the front of the unit as well. And when you get into like editing metadata, you can toss in any kind of USB keyboard. I got this old Apple one that I've been using to edit 
stuff with. So it's kind of cool you have that ability to do so because doing it with the remote control, it's totally doable. It's just gonna take you a little bit longer. Now this thing has a lot of settings and I'm not gonna really run through there, but I am gonna show you how to add a collection, how to remove a collection and kind of tailor the experience uh, to you. And well, it's gonna be for me, but you'll get the idea. And if you want like a detailed rundown of what's in the menus and all that, Shane from Spare Change made a great detailed video. I think it's like 20 minutes long. So I'll link to that video down in the description and with the card up top. So definitely show Spare Change some love. And if you've never heard of his channel, definitely subscribe up. He's got a good amount of reviews for equipment and of course, 4K Blu-rays. All right, everyone. Now I know the very, very first time you turn on the Zipidi, you won't end up here. Um, you'll have to sign in and you have to, you know, put in some cred credentials for yourself. And then there's a code on the bottom of the Zipidi itself that you have to enter in. And once you get all that done, um, you'll kind of get to this area here. Now, Explorer is kind of the way I've been working with my um, Oppo UDP 203 which is basically kind of like a file explorer. So we're going to jump into that just so you can take a quick peek. Um, but basically it's like a folder structure and you go through the folders to see like what's there and all that kind of stuff. So let's go local drives, 10 terabyte disc. And like I would go into here, 4K UHD rips and then just play whatever, you know, content I wanted to play if I was going to demo something. And, that, and you can still use that, that's totally cool. But that's not the whole point of this machine. So let's go back over to video. And you know, the idea is kind of like, you know, have a nice display of all the content that you own. I mean, that's really what it's about. So it'll log in every single time to your um, email account that you set up with Zipidi. And obviously you need an internet connection so that the Zipidi can actually download all the artwork and everything. And as you noticed, I'm sure we went from red to silver. This is the silver theme, which I'll show you how to get there in a minute. And I like this a little bit better. It's got the cool little mirror finish down below. And if we go to movies, and then um, we've got all the movies and you know, give it a second and it'll load up all the artwork for the movies. And uh, let's jump into 1917 right here. And once everything starts loading, it'll put up the metadata. So we've got an MKV file, it's an HD rip, it's a 5.1. Um, and you know, it has the, we know, codec h.264 if it's h.265 then it's an hdr obviously this one isn't um, it also has the aspect ratio and that sort of thing if we go into allied which i know is uh, 4k now i know uh, if you haven't heard about this movie and you want a demo material you got like a crazy awesome 4k tv or 4k projector you need to get this movie i don't know why people aren't uh, using this at all like the 3d pop and depth is insane and that's because it was shot in 6k with a 4k digital intermediate so one of the most reference pictures available is this movie allied i nobody talks about it anyway um and no there's no atmos it's you know pretty dialogue heavy but anyway you can see everything on the screen here 1.78 to 1 dts hd master audio uh, 5.1 it is uh, ultra hd in uh 23.976 is the frame rate obviously 24p so as you can see it's got like the main artwork and the like cover and of course all of the stats now one thing that you guys can't hear right now because i'll get hit with copyright is that it's playing the score of the movie in fact even if we are in the previous screen like if i go to aquaman and just hover over it like this it's going to start playing the score from the film, which is really, really cool. I think that's a nice touch. It kind of gets you into the mood of the film. All right, so we're going to hit the menu button on the remote control, which is this three line button right here. And now we're going to go to the left over to um, the collection area and hit log out. Now this is going to log me out of my account and i'm going to go to collections this is collection two obviously i've done this before okay and i'm going to go to the bin and 
select it to delete the collection. Now, this is not going to delete any of my files. This is just going to delete the like database uh, information that they have put together and brought in. So, all right, so we're going to add a collection. All right, now here it says, before you start using Zapiti, you must create two folders, a movies folder and a TV shows folder. Now, this is important for Zapiti to actually kind of call everything together. Now, in the previous section, when we went through the uh, Explorer and we had that folder that said 4K UHD rips, and inside that folder, there's a bunch of subfolders. And I tried to just rename that folder movies, but it didn't gather all the information to make it look all cool because of all the subfolders. So what I did on this 10 terabyte disk is take the actual .m2ts file and move it into a brand new uh, folder called movies2. Okay, I, I, I went rogue, right? And uh, put a bunch of those m2ts files in there just to make sure that it works properly. And that is really the best way to do it. Now, if you do have different drives, you can have a movies folder on all those different drives. Now I'm gonna do movies two is gonna be my main folder with all the 4K rips. And then I have a different folder called 1080p rips, which we will add later. Uh, so you guys can see exactly what happens because it will put everything in that folder and it'll gather all the metadata and everything like that. Now, as far as TV shows are concerned, you wanna have the title of the TV show. So I have uh, season nine of American Horror Story. I'm not a huge fan of the American Horror Story like series. Uh, my wife likes it and we've watched a bunch of them. And I actually like 1984, pretty cool. I thought it was pretty cool. Anyway, for the file types, you're going to name it American Horror Story S09E01 for episode one. And that's obviously .mkv at the end there. And then for episode two, it'll be American Horror Story space s 09E02.mkv and so on and so forth. And it'll put everything, it'll find all the names and it's really cool. So we'll check that out as well. So let's move on from here, hit okay on the remote. And then here we are, it's asking for adding a folder containing movie. So we're gonna press the button here. Now, if you are going to, like when I get my other drives, instead of going to local drive, I'm gonna start it off as a Zipidi share that's when I get the other drives. And I'll make a separate video for that once I get the drives and show you guys how to move uh, content from one place to the other. Okay, so we're gonna choose local drives for now. 10 terabyte disc, that's my disc with the <laughs> capital K, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so we wanna go to the movies two folder. Whoop, 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 there it goes. Okay, and then we're gonna select add folder movies two. Okay, now we're going to add a folder containing TV shows. So we're gonna go back into local drives, 10 terabyte disk, and scroll down to TV shows, and then click okay to add folder TV shows. All right, so here we are. Now, as you can see, you can add more folders um, if you want. Now they did say that the more folders you add in different places, like don't just make you know, um, a TV folder for every TV show, because then it's going to take longer to kind of gather all your content up. So if you have a TV shows folder and you have a bunch of TV shows, just name them with the TV show, uh, season, uh, zero and the number episode zero and the number and whatever the file type is dot MKV dot M four V or dot M P four, whatever, uh, the situation is or dot M O V just leave them, just toss them all in there without any other subfolders and you'll be good to go. All right, so we're gonna press back to save and quit. And now the Zipidi is doing its thing. Um, so now we just gotta wait. I will like speed up the video so you guys don't have to just there and look at this. Okay, so it looks like it's done. I'm gonna hit back. And now it has kind of uh, put up some movies here up at the top. They call these things at the bottom. These are modules and this top section here is the showcase. Okay, that's what they call it. So highlight movies, hit the menu button, and we're going to add a module in the showcase. So what I wanna do is select recent. And now what that's gonna do is, is change everything up here in the showcase to all the recently added uh, movies or TV shows. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, and when it was set up to next, it just had three options, but now as you can see, it's got way more than three options. Okay, 
Um, next thing, if we go into movies, we can see now the theme has been changed back to red. So, um, you know, if we go into the movie, here's Allied. I showed you it before in silver. Now here it is in red. We've got the same pictures and stuff and all the metadata will be the same. It just kind of, yeah, it looks okay. It definitely gets the job done, but I know um, this red, I'm not a huge fan of it. So let's back out of here. Make sure movies is highlighted, hit the menu button and go over to settings. And what we're gonna do is go down. So as you can see the little hammer and wrench there and then go to the right, go down to theme and go from classic to silver. Um, now here's where you can also um, select, you want two lines, three lines, four lines, or picture wall. Now I had the picture wall earlier, that's what you saw up on screen when we first started the video. But um, since I don't have too many 4K UHD rips on this picture wall, eh, it look kind of empty. So, um, you know, let's go three lines for right now. Now to get silver, um, it's pretty easy. It's free in the United States. If you go to Zapiti's website, and obviously you have to have a Zapiti, and you put some sort of, you know, review or, you know, comment. Um, uh, I love this player. I hate this player. Whatever it is, take a screenshot and send it over to Zapiti saying, hey, how can I get the silver theme? And they just unlock it. Um, and it's attached to the email address that you use to sign in with Zapiti. So now that we've got that uh, set up, we go out and then it just kind of reconfigures everything and we're into the silver theme. All right, there we go. So now you can see it's in the silver theme. And if we go down to movies here, we've got three rows and, you know, um, all the cool metadata is there and it's got that cool little reflective look down that i really like so uh there we go now uh one of the things that is really cool is being able to change all of these pictures so press the menu button on a um, movie and then we go to the right to edit and we can change the picture so what this does is it actually just kind of finds everything that's out there online um, let's change. I like this this one with the face and the like birds, but without the you know Jennifer Lawrence at the top. So boom, we changed the picture, and now let's go in and change. Oopsie, where is it? There it is. Change the picture for the background. Um, I kind of like that one. Let's see what else they have. They got all kinds. So they got, well, they don't have all kinds. They have nine. So uh, this is kind of cool. I mean, you could probably spend a good amount of time, um, you know, just kind of customizing each uh, listing, I guess, um, each movie, each piece of content. So now it should, boom, you know, it should have that there. Um, so that's cool. You can customize it to your liking for every single movie that you've got in here. Now I did have um, Lord of the Rings trilogy because I just bought it and ripped it and it came like the same day the Zapiti did. So when you go into Lord of the Rings, um, any kind of series, it's going to do it in this type of fashion. So we've got Lord of the Rings, we've got um, the Two Towers and the Return of the King. So if we select one of them, it'll go into it and of course give you all the metadata and what you're not hearing due to copyright is that the uh, score is playing right now so as you can see this one is dolby atmos and it's got the little symbol for all the little speaker channels and all that stuff so it's ultra hd and of course we've got um, hevc that means it's an hdr and uh, 24 frames per second so let's jump out of here and if we go into the two towers, um, you'll notice um, even the background changes here. Um, as you can see, it went to the red and um, we've got the title scrolling. It's a really nice looking interface and you know, super easy to get all these uh, movies in here. We go to Lucy, you know, um, and if you are on a big screen, like this looks great on a big screen, I would imagine this looks fantastic on a, projector you know if you got a big 100 inch 120 inch screen and of course since we're talking about projectors this 
uh, does not support Dolby Vision or HDR10+. Plus. It does support HDR10, so this is perfect for projector owners. There will be a new uh, 4K Pro HDR that is coming out next year that will support Dolby Vision and HDR10+. Plus. However, the ripping process for those things are a little bit more complicated. Um, so I'm totally stoked to just have everything in one place that I can stream to a different room if I want to. So, okay, so one of the things I told you earlier is I have 4K movies and 1080p movies. Now, I don't wanna have to like guess which ones are which, and you can actually tag in the metadata which one is 4K, and we can put that like in a button like this movie thing right up on screen. So to do that, we're going to hit the menu button and we're going to add a module, okay? And we go down all the way down to the bottom and we can find 4K. And that's gonna put 4K on the very, very far right, right? Cause it's just gonna add it to the very bottom. So we're going to um, highlight it, hit the menu button again and go down to move the module. And I wanna move it pretty much all the way up front. So press the button until we get there. Um, let's not just, let's not do all, let's just do 4K UHD. Now, if we go into 4K UHD, um, not all of the movies are there. Some of them are here. These are the ones that have the tag. Let's see, um, Allied, um, the Big Lebowski, I love it. As soon as I highlight it, it's got the music. Dun, 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 dun. La 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 la, right? Um, great, great little transfer too. Okay, so uh, let's find a movie that isn't on that list. Now, all of these are 4K, except for the American Horror Story, obviously. So um, I believe The Martian was not. So if we highlight a movie that wasn't on that list, we scroll over to edit and go down to edit related categories. And yeah, this one did not have 4K, so we just gotta go down to 4K Ultra HD, press the button, press back, and hit yes to save. And then if we go uh, back out of there and hit our 4K, then the Martian should show up in our little 4K thing. Yes, there it is. Um, yeah, so basically, if this is a cool way to kind of, you know, I guess divvy up your collection or find a way to make it a little bit easier to find exactly what it is you're looking for. All right, so another cool thing is the category section. Now, I have a lot of demo material that I need to check out for, you know, 4K Blu-rays. And as far as, you know, reviewing equipment, whether it's subwoofers, the speaker system, the AV receiver, or the TV, I wanna have demo material. And I wanna have it ready and I don't wanna have to like fiddle around and you know search for it right all right so what we're going to do is we're going to jump into categories and of course you can you know uh go through here and search via their categories menu for you know all these different different tags and once i get my uh 1080p rips in here there's gonna be a lot more movies uh so we can kind of check that out but uh let's hit the menu button and go over to uh create a category so I'm going to press the button on create a category. Okay, enter the new category. Now I am going to use that keyboard right now to type this in. Okay, and type in shift D E M O demo. It's gonna be my demo um, category. And this is like what I'm talking about. This is the coolest thing. So you can, oh, oh yeah. Um, now we got to pick an icon and there are so many icons to choose from. So I am just going to pick that. Okay. That's going to be the category has been created and it is here at the very bottom, but let's, um, let's put that up here. So let's go menu button again and add a module. and scroll all the way down, it should be at the very bottom. Boom, demo. And of course, whenever you add anything new, it's always gonna be at the very end. So let's go over to the right, uh, press the menu, move the module. And I'm gonna move it right next to 4K Ultra HD. 
okay so now this is what i would normally see when i come in i, I i've got access to my 4k ultras i've got my demo material then i've got all the movies and the tv shows let's jump into the tv shows just so you guys can see how american horror story um looks so we go into the main american horror story and then season nine is 1984 and we jump in here and we've got all of the episodes with the title of the episode um, I believe it'll have a synopsis as well, along with the, you know, file types and everything at the bottom, just like all the other movies that we have on Zapiti. So I look, it's, this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty stoked about this. And the best part is like, I don't have to set up a, like a network attached storage device or anything like this. So even if you buy the Zapiti mini and you connect it with an external hard drive, you get the same uh, user experience as with this $1,000 player. All right, so my demo material has nothing in it, right? This menu is empty. So I've got to go into 4K Ultra HD and Allied obviously is going to be part of the demo thing. So I press the menu button, go over to edit, edit related categories. And then I'm gonna go down to demo add that press back hit save uh, lucy is definitely demo material if you guys have not seen lucy it is amazing especially that last scene with the like oh man all the like white and black that's just crazy all right so let's go down to demo back out of that hit yes uh the martian um is also a good one demo wise all the like outside area the terrain um of mars is oh what happened oh something happened oh there we go i think i actually clicked it all right demo has been added and then a quiet place you guys know um what's up with a quiet place right the the lfe in this is just ridiculous so definitely going to be part of my demo uh material so let's get in there and add the demo tag to it. And I'm not going to go through everything, um, save the changes, but I will just show you now let's back out and here we go. If we go into demo, everything that I just added is there. So yeah, now let's jump in and add the 1080p disc to everything or the 1080p folder. So I'm gonna hit menu again and go over to settings and then add folder containing movies. Now this is on the same 10 terabyte disc, disc with the K, <laughs> capital K. Um, and here under 1080p rips and then add the folder 1080p rips and as you can see it's there um, under 1080p rips and we're going to press back to save and uh, quit the settings so now it's going to do this and this is going to take a lot longer so i will see you on the other side of this all right looks like everything is done and if we go now into the main section as you can see i changed it to recent so now we got a whole bunch of other movies um, uh oh, looks like we've got Knives Out Collection doesn't have um, uh, cover art or background, so we can change that for sure. So let's jump into movies to see how the uh, movies have grown here now. And remember, I chose three lines, so now we can check out um, more movies. And if we want to do picture wall, we can change it to picture wall. But let's jump in here to Bohemian Rhapsody. It's a 1080p rip, DTS 5.1. And it is playing, you know, <laughs> some Queen right now, which you can't hear due to the copyright situation. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we got four pages of movies here. So let's just kind of scroll through. And again, this is two different folders on the same drive, which is one way to work it. You can do the same, you know, style folder on different drives as well. So um, you have a lot of options here. And um, you don't need a lot of know-how to actually get, you know, this kind of a result here for, you know, what it is um, that you're doing. So, like, this is definitely cool here. Even the Jumanji collection, jumping into this, 
you know, it'll have all the Jumanjis. It'll have the next level. It'll have Welcome to the Jungle and the first Jumanji if you have the original. I don't, clearly. I have it on Voodoo, but I don't have it on here, and which is now like my obsession to buy all the uh, the discs that I don't have just because, it, you know, to, to um, you know, fix this little collection here and, and fill it all up, man. It's, it's I, I tell you, it's addictive. It's addictive. So um, big shout out again to the folks at Zapiti for sending this over for me to review. And also uh, Raphael at Zapiti, thank you so much for helping me navigate through this and showing me some cool features that I can, uh, you know, show all these people at home. And that's eventually going to help me out. So yeah, a lot of exciting stuff. And again, like I mentioned before, I'll be making a second video on the Seagate drives that are coming in and how to get all your content onto there and how that works with the Zipedi and how to set up Zipedi Share. So I, I, the drives are coming in in a few days and I've got a bunch of movies on the way. So it's gonna be like riptastic. This, this riptastic Christmas over here at the De Silva household. So uh, definitely um, hit me up with questions down in the comments below about this or anything else or hit me up on social or email, whichever you like to use. I know there's, uh, you know, there's the channel that gets larger and larger. It's getting harder and harder for me to answer comments. So sometimes people comment and then they'll hit me up on uh, Twitter, Instagram, or email or Facebook. So uh, whichever way works, sometimes, you know, I'll see your comment and be like, oh man, that's gonna be a long one. I'll get back to that. And then a couple of days later, they'll email me and I'll be like, oh, perfect. I can actually type this out. And um, yeah, it's just it's just one of those things. Again, um, big shout out to Zapiti. Thank you guys so much. And um, that's pretty much it. So if you guys like this video, go ahead, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel using the button in the middle of your screen. Once again, my name is Chana D. I'm your techno dad. And I'll see you next time.